Hello, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Tahir Naim and uh, we are studying Introduction to Computer. So far we have got 7 lecture and today is lecture number 8 uh, and this is the continuation of previous lecture. This is the outline of our today lecture. First of all we will discuss Insert Ribbon Menu System. Then we will discuss Links Group. Then we will discuss hyperlink command. Then we will discuss bookmark command. Then we will discuss cross reference. Then we will discuss comment. So first of us, first of all, let's discuss insert ribbon menu system. So insert tab is the second tab in the ribbon. It, it is used to insert or add extra feature in your document as the name suggests. It is commonly used to add tables, pictures, clip art, shapes, pages, num page number, etc. The insert tab has group of related command like page pages, tables, illustration, ads and media, links, comments, header and photo and text and symbol. So far we have we have studied pages, tables and illustration. Today we will study to in today lecture we will study links and comments. So here is the uh, basically the, the diagram or uh, the basically when we click on the insert ribbon or tab then this open up so in the previous lecture we have called the pages like core page blank page page break and tables we have discussed the tables in illustration group we have discussed picture online picture shapes smart art chart screenshot while in today lecture we, we have we will discuss hyperlink bookmark cross reference and comments and basically uh, there are slight variation in the different version of ms word so basically the previous version doesn't contain ads in uh, while the comment section is in normally in review section as well as uh, the link section while in this this is the 2013 version basically all there are slight modification of the placement of the different uh, heading while the basic functionality remain the same uh, Then we will discuss link, links group. Links group. Link group contain feature that we can use to link our document. So basically, first of all, we, we have to look at the name of a name because the name suggests everything, uh, the features of the group. Uh, as we have mentioned in the previous lectures link groups a link group helps us in connection or bandage a specific place within the document to some other place in the same document or some other document or web address or email address basically link provides the connection or it binds a specific place in the document to some other place within the same document or in the different document or we can link it to the different document or we can also link it to any web address on so that when we click on it so a specific websites so web, web uh, open up or in the email address because uh, if you uh, if you click on it then the email opens email uh, opens up so to mail a certain person Link group consists of three commands namely hyperlink, bookmark and cross reference. Uh, basically, is we uh, um, basically there are three commands in the link group uh, which is known as hyperlink, bookmark and cross reference. The basic uh, theme of the, these three are same uh, which binds uh, where we, uh, we bind a specific section to some other section within the document or some other document. Uh, um, in Microsoft Word, there are times when a link to a web page is required. 
so basically uh, maybe there um, because normally uh, uh, maybe if we have a long document uh, then we need to connect a web page uh, we need to uh, drop a link to a web pages uh, regard if uh, further uh, further uh, uh, further explanation of uh, something is uh, uh, something uh, is needed like uh, uh, in this lecture if i pay, i place link on uh, to any other uh, page web page uh, of uh, this um, of uh, computer science computer uh, basic computer uh, course on uh, or sometimes a link to location in the same document document is needed is some are quite lengthy so basically you can also place a link to web page or you can also uh, link the same uh, a specific area to some other area uh, where a complete discussion is uh, um, is uh, uh, is done like this is the link group uh, here we are discussing link group uh, so if they are in some other places their uh, link group uh, shows up uh, then we link the uh, um, the uh, specific uh, the to this area so this will be in, in the same document uh, because if the uh, documents in lengthy and we cannot browse to the entire document uh, links can be useful for directing others who read the document to a specific site or adding a bibliography to a department assignment uh, basically uh, links are normally put up in a deep, uh, uh, in a document uh, uh, which directs us to further uh, for, for further reading or further explanation of a certain thing in the same do or same document or we uh, add a bibliography uh, 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 to a department assignment because you may, may have done the assignments you may have submitted the assignments to your teacher so uh, in this assignment you may uh, you must have uh, added a bibliography section uh, which explains the uh, which explains the references from where you have you have uh, pick up the uh, source of information so here is the basically link group uh, and there are as we have previously uh, discussed that there are three uh, basically uh, components of a link group uh, one is hyperlink the other is bookmark and the third one is the cross references as you can see that uh, whenever we move uh, our a cursor uh, uh, and cursor um, about something the explanation open up uh, like insert uh, hyperlink and this is to show the shortcut key where what kind of shortcut key is used here as you can see that control plus k is used uh, here the short explanation of uh, the functionality of these uh, of uh, uh, this uh, um, heading create a link to a web page uh, like a picture in email address or a program as we have previously may, uh, discussed on uh, So we will discuss hyperlink command in hyperlink command. The fastest way to create a basic hyperlink in an office document is to press enter or space bar after you type in the address of existing web page. So basically, whenever we uh, we write address of some uh, something. Uh, like here I am giving you example of HTTP uh, columns uh, for, for, forward slash forward slash uh, www.contoso.com so here whenever we after writing this address uh, we normally press uh, the space key and this uh, the color of this address will be changed to the blue or we can also like uh, uh, you have you may have uh, access the cursor address uh, the http da, uh, double colon slash www dot uh, dot edu dot pk or cust www dot cust dot edu dot pk so whenever we press normally we, uh, we press after the address we normally press uh, and space uh, uh, and then write something or we uh, press enter and move on to the next line and this the color of the address will changes automatically to blue ms word automatic uh, word automatically convert the address into a link so it will be automatically uh, converted to a link uh, 
so here is the example here i have typed the two addresses http double colon www dot w dot google dot com so here whenever i as you can see here i have pressed the uh, space key which means that uh, uh, i am writing something uh, uh, some text extra text uh, within the same line so at the meantime the color of this text with my default color of this ms ms powerpoint is uh, uh, black while as you can see that it colors changes to blue so as you can see that this is converted uh, converted to hyperlink uh, while here i heard i have uh, typed a second address http double colon forward slash forward slash www.cus.edu.bk so here whenever i pressed uh, here when i press enter key so basically the color of this address from uh, will change from black to blue which which indicates that uh, uh, it is in hyperlink uh, in addition to web pages you can create links to existing or new files on your computer to email address or to specific location in a document so basically is uh, in above section i have given you the example of web pages we are here i have given the address of google here i have this is address of cohort university of science and technology while you can you don't um, you don't have to limit yourself to web addresses you can also create link uh, uh, to the file which are you uh, present in your computer uh, like uh, if you want to uh, uh, give some uh, extra explanation or some other file access uh, file access uh, then you can uh, uh, link it uh, whenever we click on it the other file opens up uh, or the email address uh, we can also give a link to email address also to specific location in our document uh, you can also edit the address display text and font style or color the or color of the hyperlink so basically we can also so, uh, we, we can also play with the uh, font of the hyperlink or font style of the uh, hyperlink or uh, what should be displayed whenever our mouse hovers around this uh, this uh, uh, link uh, hyperlink command or this hyperlink command then a specific what text should be displayed on and what what should be the color of hyperlink in change it uh, according to our requirement or or wishes on a hyperlink is a piece of text or an image in electron electronic document that can connect that connects user to another portion of the document or a different web page in addition a hyperlink can be used to connect to and open in email client uh, uh, client window so basically whenever we uh, give the um, Uh, hyperlink command to email address whenever you click it uh, uh, oh email client window will be open up uh, where you can send the uh, the uh, web uh, to the mail to the uh, desired person organization of which uh, the, uh, the hyperlink is displayed on the active links on the web pages that allows us to jump from one page to another is also known as hyperlink song you can use these in electronic version of your document just like you do in the web pages on so uh, here we will look at uh, to how we can insert a hyperlink in the document on so basically we select the image or text uh, where we want to make in hyperlink basically you have to select the text uh, and so the question remains how you will select the text uh, basically you can press uh, the shift key and uh, then uh, um, then uh, uh, the left arrow key right arrow key then the text will be selected uh, or you can also uh, do it to, um, uh, with the help of mouse uh, to select the text uh, then we will go to the insert tab uh, so in insert tab is i have uh, in insert tab uh, then you go to the uh, hyper uh, click uh, links uh, link group uh, and the link group you click on the hyperlink group uh, the insert link uh, insert hyperlink dialog box uh, appears so when we click on the hyperlink inside the link group uh, another window pop up uh, 
so here if you, so when we selected the text uh, the word will appear in the text to the field field is the top uh, so basically the uh, there will be a text to display okay, what text should be displayed uh, here by default it will be field at the top uh, so there will be another option that uh, uh, what type uh, type the address you want to link in the address field so there will be another uh, another uh, box uh, where uh, address will be written on uh, that uh, uh, require you to type the address uh, where you want to link uh, uh, this uh, text uh. you can also press keyboard shortcut control plus k to insert a hyperlink on any highlighted text so basically we can also we can also insert uh, control plus k uh, or we can also select the text and simply press uh, control plus k uh, in in control and k at the same time uh, uh, in, uh, to uh, in insert a hyperlink uh, in the highlighted text uh. So here, when uh, in this window uh, we were discussing that when we click, when we select uh, a certain phrase, a certain text, uh, and click uh, on uh, insert hyperlink, this window's pop-ups uh, is you can see insert hyperlink. Uh, there is we were previously discussing discussing that this is the text to display here. The what text should be displayed, uh, and here is the address a second field that what address should be given to it. Uh, here I am giving giving it an address of email of uh, in a web so a web page like http double colon forward slash forward slash www dot my portfolio dot c comma so basically whenever we click on this hyperlink it will automatically direct us to this address there are other options like like existing file or web page place in this document create new document or email address so basically as you can see here link to where you want to link this piece of information here first of all we have to select a certain option according to our requirement is the name suggest that if you want to connect it to a local web page stored on your computer or a file stored on your computer you have to click it uh, while place in this document if we have, we want to uh, hyperlink it towards inside uh, uh, some other portion of the document uh, with the other portion of document then we have to click on this option here create new document if uh, we are uh, if we in, uh, we inserted a hyperlink command and we want to create a new document uh, and this is the email address uh, if you want to give uh, uh, the uh, connection to email address then you have to click on uh, click it on uh, here is the screen tip uh, that uh, if we our mouse hovers around some uh, um, hours around uh, the text uh, selected text are uh, the um, hyperlink uh, then what should be displayed on uh, and here is the bookmark and target frame uh. so then you will click ok the text or image you selected will now be hyperlink uh. to set the highlight text to highlighted text to link to a location in the same document click place in the this document option on the left side you can select the place to a link in the document so basically is uh, as i was previously discuss, uh, uh, discussing that uh, if you want to uh, connect uh, some uh, selected text uh, uh, with inside within inside the document uh, then you have to and the left pane is uh, previously shown that you have to select uh, place in this document uh, and then uh, uh, a place is selected uh, where our document should be connected if you click on this particular uh, uh, particular uh, hyperlink uh, then it will automatically jump to a new place uh, where uh, which we have linked uh, earlier to make an email address is hyperlink uh, type the email address here uh, let's suppose here if this is the my official address uh, official email address tahir naeem at the rate cast.edu.pk so highlight the text then we will select this text uh, whole uh, uh, whole email address uh, and here we will select uh, insert table 
after going to insert tab you will go to links groups and in within inside the link group we will create create hyperlink uh, and insert hyperlink box appears on the left side of the box where it is say link to click email address and as, as, well, as previously i have shown you to the previous in the previous uh, uh, um, in the previous uh, 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 window data on the left panel there is option also available click email uh, email address then we have to click on it uh, and then we will discuss and then we will uh, select insert hyperlink box will change the one shown above type the email address you want to connect to in the email address box can then click on uh, then after we have to click email address box uh, uh, and then click uh, we will click ok we can also insert a hyperlink that uh, links to another portion of the same document. Uh, so here is you can see as I was previously discussing that if you want to uh, link a certain place to email address then you have to click uh, enable uh, click on this uh, and this uh, option will appear before us uh, that what we, what is uh, what email address should go on. Uh, and here is the subject then uh, we will click ok while there if you can uh, create a new document in this place inside the document uh. word recognize many emails and web addresses is you type and will format the his hyperlink automatically after the after uh, we press enter key or space bar as we were discussing previously So how will we will we uh, remove a hyperlink? Uh, so basically, uh, we will uh, select the hyperlink uh, which we want to deactivate. It. Is this problem you have? You have you may have encountered whenever you uh, download something from the uh, internet, uh, then it contains a lot of uh, links. Uh, then simply, uh, which will be uh, which may be highlighted. Uh, so basically after highlight text we will click on insert and we will go to insert tab and click on hyperlink in groups uh, then we will discuss uh, then we will uh, choose edit hyperlink dialog box here is the uh, uh, here is the different option we were discussing previously so here we will remove the hyperlink as you can see that here we will click on remove uh, remove uh, link uh, then uh, the address uh, uh, will convert uh, into uh, its default shape uh, and the pro, uh, uh, then uh, the uh, hyperlink will be deactivated from the particular place uh. so we will discuss the bookmark command bookmark a bookmark in words works like a bookmark you might place in a book uh, may have, you may have tried this trick because it is widely used by uh, by uh, everyone uh, that whenever you are reading a particular book uh, and we want to uh, uh, pursue another uh, another uh, uh, some uh, uh, work then we will we place a certain type of bookmark like inserting pen or any other object so that we can resume from where we have started it marks a place that you want to uh, want to find easily again basically um, a bookmark is uh, basically a type of a uh, sign where uh, uh, which shows that uh, if you uh, go from there then you can come back to this place easily you can enter as many bookmarks as you want in your document or outlook for a message and you can give each one a unique name so they are easy to identify so basically uh, when we click uh, when we uh, uh, basically we can enter different uh, uh, numbers of bookmark uh, it doesn't have restriction of how many uh, bookmarks should be inserted uh, and basically a name uh, is given to it uh, to add a bookmark, you first mark the bookmark location in your document. To you can we can jump to a location or add links to it within our document or Outlook Outlook message after that. 
We can also delete bookmarks from the document or Outlook message. Remove the location or bookmark the location. So basically where we want to select, where we want to insert a break bookmark, then we will select the particular text or picture or a place in your document where you want to insert a bookmark. So we will go to insert, then we will come to bookmark command and bookmark name type and name and click add so here we will click on the name of the what show we should give the name to the uh, name to the uh, name to the uh, uh, name, uh, bookmark bookmarks name need to begin with the letter so basically we have to any name we given must be start with letter and it will it also uh, it may be include uh, any letters or numbers uh, 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 but uh, a space is, is not allowed within the bookmark if you need to separate words uh, uh, like uh, we can also use underscore uh, like a uh, first heading so here we will click on bookmark so basically is we will we we we, uh, uh, we click on insert bookmark uh, then this windows pop ups uh, here is the bookmark name basically sort by name or location basically we can give the location of address uh, of text or name of that unique name is given to it uh, and here is the hidden bookmarks that if you want to hide the bookmarks uh, from the general view So here, uh, go to the bookmark location. After creating your bookmarks, you can add links to you, them within the, your document or jump to them at any time. Jump to a bookmark. So basically, if you want to jump to a bookmark, then we typically type Ctrl plus G as we previously discussed that it will open up find in release place box under go to what click bookmark enter the selected bookmark name and then click go then we will go to then we will give it to uh, uh, give it uh, the name which we have given um, to the particular text and then click go to as you can see here we we have enable go to and here we have selected bookmark uh, and here we will discuss the name of the network bookmark like uh, contoso.com uh, link to a bookmark you can also add hyperlinks that will take you to a bookmark location in the same document so here we will select document text or object where we want to create a hyperlink so then we will click on the hyperlink command is this is the shown here that the icon we click on this icon so under link to click place in this document in the link select the heading or bookmark that you want to link to to customize the screen tape the appearance when you rest the pointer or the hyperlink click screen tape and then type what the text you want it to be displayed on when we deleting a bookmark how we will delete a bookmark so we will go to insert then we will go to bookmark then we will click uh, then we will enter the name or location as these two options are available to us uh, uh, and then list uh, it will sort out the bookmarks in the document click the name of bookmark you want to delete and then click the delete button then the bookmark will be deleted automatically if you inserted a hyperlink to a deleted program a bookmark right click the link uh, text and then click the remove uh, uh, hyperlink on to delete both the bookmark and bookmark items such as the block of text or other documents elements select the item and then press the delete button So now we will discuss cross reference. Cross reference. A cross reference allows us to link to other parts of the same document. 
For example, we might want to use cross reference to link to a chart or graphics that appears elsewhere in the document. Basically, craft, uh, craft, uh, craft, cross reference is used whenever we want to point to any charts or uh, graphs uh, within the document, same document. The cross reference appear is a link that takes the reader to referenced item. So first of all, we will create the item we are right, so referencing to. We can't cross reference something that doesn't exist because it is impossible. When we insert the cross reference, we have to uh, uh, we a uh, new dialog box will open and uh, will which which uh, list different uh, things available to us. Is uh, we uh, click on the cross reference, this type of this window pops up. There are different things reference type. This is the types of reference, and we click on it. Different options opens up, uh, and here insert reference to here different options open up on and here are the different book mass uh, which opens up on insert the how we will insert the cross reference so in, in the document type the text that begin with cross reference for example see figure 2 for explanation of the upper trend uh, we will go to insert then click on the cross reference so here you can see that this is the cross reference we will go to it and click on it in the reference type box, click the drop down list to pick what you want to link to. The list of words available depends on the types of art, uh, item like heading, page number, etc. We are linking. So here is the basically reference type is I was discussing previously when we browse it, uh, it will be uh, different option shows us like numbered item, heading, bookmark, footnote, end note, and education. In insert reference box, click the information you want to insert in the document choice depends on what you choose in this portion. So here insert reference to here we are giving basically the heading text. For uh, word box, click the uh, specific item you want to refer to such as insert the cross reference. To allow user to jump the reference item, select the insert is hyperlink checkbox. As you can see here, we have uh, we have check check the box, uh, and here we have uh, uh, selected heading. Here we have selected insert uh, uh, where we want to reference heading text. Uh, here basically the text. Uh, if include above or below uh, check boxes available, check it to include specify the relative position of the reference item. Then we will click on insert. Uh, Now we will discuss comment and so a comment in a word document is useful when needing to make note of something that requires attention or need to be fixed on or provide additional information to other reading the document on. As you can see, this is the uh, comment. Whenever we insert comment, uh, then the red type of uh, it is uh, shown, uh, and here we will click on then uh, here the comment which is made by uh, which is made by the user is uh, visible to us uh. so we are here we are inserting a new comment uh. we will use mouse place the text cursor where we want to insert a comment you can also highlight one or more words to set a specific comment specifically for that highlighted text uh. In the ribbon menu, you click the insert tab. In insert tab, we will go to the click comment option in the comments group. The new comment is added to the document. On the right side of the document, the document is available uh, visible. Click on the comment to enter the desired text. Here we will click on we will select a text uh, and we will click on the comment section. So edit a comment on. Uh, Edit means that in Microsoft Word document, we find the comments you want to edit. The comment should be visible on the right side of the document. Uh, click in the comment and edit the text for that. Delete a comment. Uh, in MS Word document, find the comment you want to delete. Uh, 
so we will uh, use the mouse please the text cursor over the comments of uh, text uh, on the right side of the uh, document uh, then we will click with the mouse and select the delete comment option in the pop-up menu that appears so whenever we click on the right side this pop-up menu appears if you can see that this option delete comment is also available to us we will click on it in the these are the references from which I uh, from here I have prepared my lecture if you have any question regarding today lecture please feel free to contact me thank you Allah Hafiz